Hey everyone, Troy here again, and just here to show you today how you transfer some coins from one of your accounts through to your Trezor suite, okay? So what we're going to do today, we're going to transfer some Ethereum that's sitting in one of our MetaMask accounts, and we're going to send it over to our Trezor suite app. So you remember from the previous video, we set up both the Bitcoin and the Ethereum wallets in our Trezor. So today we're going to transfer some Ethereum that we've got sitting on a MetaMask address. Hence, it's a hot wallet address and we want to transfer it over to a hardware wallet address, which is our Trezor address. Okay. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go to Trezor.io. Okay. So I typed in Trezor.io and it brought up the main page here. The second tab we want to have open is our MetaMask tab. So this is our MetaMask tab, and this is our uh, account here that has 0.015 Ethereum in it currently. So what we want to do is we want to transfer this uh, Ethereum over to our Trezor suite. So to do that, first what we need to do is we need to enter the Trezor suite like what we did last time. Now, once again, we're going to do this via Trezor suite for web. So we click on here, Trezor suite for web. That opens an additional tab, and it brings up a page here and it says connect your Trezor. Now you remember we have a Trezor Model T. I'm looking uh, at my Model T right now and you'll have the same thing. If you plug your Model T into your USB port right now on the screen it'll say not connected and tap to connect. So I'm going to tap the screen to connect as it says and then it'll come up with the pin number right. So this is where you need to punch in the pin number that was created from the previous video. And then once you've punched in your pin number, you simply click the green tick and that will then say verifying pin and it'll bring up to say, okay, cool, your Trezor is now connected. Now on the screen of my Trezor Model T, I can see here it says, please type your passphrase on the connected host. What this basically means, guys, like what we set up last time, we just set up a standard wallet. We don't need a passphrase because a passphrase is for a hidden wallet. That is not what we are doing. We're just set setting up a standard Trezor wallet today. So when that pops up on the Trezor screen, I simply have to hover my mouse over standard wallet and click standard wallet. And that then loads up the Trezor suite, uh, which we had last time. So you can see here now it's loading up the Trezor suite. It's going to bring up that we've still got zero dollars in the account because we haven't transferred anything in there yet which is what we're doing today once again it says your wallet is ready to use and if we scroll down it'll say the assets that are here we've got bitcoin we've got ethereum but we don't have any other coins because we only added bitcoin and ethereum to the wallet at this stage so the next thing we want to do is we want to transfer some of that ethereum that we have in our metamask wallet because that's a hot wallet and we want to transfer that to our Trezor Ethereum address. Now, the process I'm going to show you is through MetaMask, but if you were transferring, say, some Ethereum from your exchange wallet, no matter whether it's Binance, CoinSpot, Coinbase, CoinJar, it really doesn't matter, all right? The process is all the same. We need to send it from the wallet we're sending it from, which in this case is the MetaMask, and the wallet that needs to receive it is the Ethereum wallet in our Trezor. So, to do this, once again, we're on the main screen here and we go down and we're sending Ethereum to our Trezor today. So we click on Ethereum. This then opens the first Ethereum account of our Trezor. Okay. Now, once again, we are receiving Ethereum today. All right. We're not sending it from our Trezor. We are receiving it. So over here, you'll see send, you'll see receive, you'll see trade. Don't worry about those ones just for now, the send and the trade one. We just want to concentrate on receiving it. So we click on receive. Now, when we click receive, it'll show up here and it'll say show full address. So we click on show full address and then it'll pop up on the screen here. Now, it pops up here saying the ETH receiving address. It's got the barcode and it's also got the actual address written down the bottom. Now, you'll see at the top here, it says confirm on Trezor. Now, if you look at your Trezor, and you look at the Trezor Model T screen, you'll see it says receive address and it has the address that is the address down here. So one really good way that I find when I'm transferring coins from anywhere to my Trezor address 
I like to ensure the first four and last four numbers are correct. It's just a bit of a safety check that I do that I find is really good safety check to go over. Now, once again, if we take our eyes and put it on our Trezor Model T screen that we're looking at, we can see that address on the little screen. And we have a big green button there that says confirm. So we click confirm. And then once we click confirm, we can see on our computer screen that the confirm on Trezor button has disappeared. And we just have the big barcode and the address down the bottom. So now all we need to do is click on copy address. So we click copy address here. And this has copied our address now. We'll see at the top here it says copied to clipboard. That means the address has been copied. So now we've copied that address. We want to go over to our MetaMask account. Now this MetaMask account is storing 0.015 Ethereum. Okay. We click on send and we confirm it. Okay. What we need to ensure, the most important thing here is that the receive address is the correct one because that is your Trezor hardware wallet address. We want to make sure that we receive the Ethereum. Okay, that's the most important thing. So now we can go over to the MetaMask account and we can simply send some of this Ethereum. So to do that, we click on send. Okay, and it pops up here. And then we paste in the address. Now we simply just choose the amount that we want to send. So in this case, I'm just going to send 0.01. Okay. I'm going to send 0.01 Ethereum to our new Trezor address. And we can see here it's all been confirmed. It's going to cost about $1.46 in Ethereum fees. So I then click Next. And then we go to this screen. Now, once again, if you're not using, if you're not sending it from a MetaMask address, you're not going to see this screen. Okay. You're going to be looking at the screen of where it is you're sending it from, whether that be Coinbase, whether it be CoinJar, whether it be Binance, whether it be another uh, you know, another wallet, it doesn't matter, okay? It just so happens that I'm sending it from MetaMask. That's why we can see this. So I press confirm. And then I can see here, it's now changed from send pending, all right? Which means 0.01 Ethereum is being sent to that Trezor address. So we can see that's being sent. Now, it's varying times that uh, Ethereum, for example, can take to send now we can see this one just closed, so that was around about 10 seconds or so, right? But depending on the exchange, it can take from varying times. It could take 10, 30 seconds, it could take five minutes, it could take up to an hour, okay? Um, it just all depends on the busyness of the network at the time that you sent it. So we can see it's been sent from our uh, MetaMask wallet, which is fantastic. We need to make sure we've actually received it in our Trezor address, right? So we click back on the Trezor address, we close this little box and we can see at the top here, there we go, 0.01 Ethereum has been received, approximately worth as of today, $19.31, uh, 19 US dollars and 31 cents. All right. So that is the process, guys. Now, the process, if you were to do Bitcoin, for example, is identical. Okay. It's an identical process. So, for example, if you had Bitcoin sitting in your, um, exchange wallet, whether that, once again, whether that's Binance, CoinJar, Coinbase, whether you've got sitting it in, whether it's sitting in a, a Bitcoin wallet somewhere, it makes no difference, all right? We simply do the same thing. We go back to dashboard, okay? We scroll down, and instead of choosing Ethereum, I would choose Bitcoin. I'd click on Bitcoin. It would take me to this page here, and once again, this is my Trezor, uh, this is my Trezor account, okay? So I simply click on Receive, it comes up with this. You click on show full address. It brings up the pop-up, which has your, your address written on here. This is your Trezor Bitcoin address. So it starts with BC1 and it ends in 2EX. So once again, you look at your Trezor Model T screen, you'll see the Bitcoin address on your little screen. You press confirm and we just go through the same process, guys. We simply click on copy address. We can see it says copy to clipboard. And then we would take that address to wherever it is we're sending it from We'd click on send, we'd paste in this Bitcoin address, we'd click send, and then it would appear in our account here. So that is the simple process of transferring uh, a cryptocurrency coin, whether it be Bitcoin or Ethereum, to your new Trezor wallet. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.